Hey guys, welcome back to JD Mods. Today we are working on my 1992 Toyota MR2 tin top, and we are going to be showing you how to reassemble the doors if you've stripped them down for painting. So we already assembled the passenger door, and it was a lot harder than we thought it was going to be. We took this car apart um, probably a year and a half ago now, and it was really challenging to remember how everything went back together, so hopefully this video will make it a little bit easier for you, and honestly will probably serve as a point of reference for us as well when we inevitably buy more MR2s. So before we get started, I'm just going to take you on a quick tour to show you what has been installed since the last video. So starting at the front of the car here, we have my windshield wipers. Um, old windshield wipers used to be mounted with screws, but that is no longer how they're mounted. They're mounted with a clip. So I had to buy these um, J-hook adapters off of Amazon to allow me to use um, like modern windshield wipers. We also have the carbon fiber hood, which I don't think was on in the last video. I talked about um, the fact that it needs a couple of repairs on the front left corner there. So unfortunately, I don't really have time to fix that up before it goes on the road this season, and we are running out of time as we head towards winter. I wanted to at least drive it for September and October, so I'm just going to leave it until next season. So since the last video, I also installed aftermarket rad fans, um, replaced the horns because the old ones weren't working, and put the rad cover on, which pretty much finishes up the front end. So at the back end of the car, I have installed a shock on the engine lid and I also installed a new aftermarket intercooler. So the entire interior is assembled except for as you'll notice the ship boot which we are just epoxying on right now um, and of course the door which I am now going to show you how to assemble. So here are all the parts to assemble the door. As you can see there's a lot of little bits and pieces to put on um, but I'm going to show you how to do that now. So I've already installed the door handle as well as the latch mechanism. For reference, here is a quick shot of how the linkages connect. It's important to note that the lock cylinder with the orange clip goes on the right hand door, and the lock cylinder with the pink clip goes on the left hand door. The one other thing that I installed before this video is the side view mirror and bracket, which goes on with two bolts there, and a nut. So first we're going to be installing this little mechanism that keeps your door open. Um, and for that, you're going to need this little dowel pin and two M6 bolts. So to install this, we're just going to feed it through the back side of the door here, um, put the two M6 nuts in through the front, and connect this here with the dowel pin. So once you have the dowel pin in there, you're just going to finish it off by covering it with this trim piece. So next we're going to install the window motor assembly, and for this you're going to need six M6 bolts and three M6, sorry, M8 nuts. So you want to install the motor assembly with the right guide attached. And the easiest thing to do is to spin it flat with the rest of the assembly and then kind of compress the whole thing. This will make it easier to get in through the door. around to get the motor in there properly but now it is in. Um, the one thing to note is that this is in the proper position with the alignment tab on this side. So next we're going to be installing this left side guide. So before we continue I just wanted to take a moment to talk about the window alignment bolts. So on the right side, it is these two nuts that have this little allen key in the center. Um, over here, it is this assembly as well as this nut over here. So for this style, you're going to break the nut loose and you're going to use an allen key to tighten or loosen it. So specifically, this bolt, if you tighten it, will move the top of the mirror bracket towards the car. Testing the ones on the right side of the door, um, by tightening it, you're going to be bringing in the top of the window towards the car. So to adjust the window using this assembly, you take the bolt out and the bracket. So to tilt the top of the window inwards, you loosen both nuts equally. 
So the window adjustment is very important to get the window to seal nicely against the body, and this is especially important if you have a T-top. So next we're going to be installing the glass, but I'm going to give mine a quick clean because it's pretty dirty. ready to go. Before installing, just make sure your window has all the components that you see here and that these two holes are empty. I'm about to load the window in, but I'm going to get Kyle to give me a hand because it can be quite tricky. He's going to install the hardware. You can see in his hand there, he has these special window um, washers, we'll call them. Um, just the one thing to make sure of is that it's always the plastic washer on the glass side and not the metal. <laughs> is now in which is one of the most challenging parts um, and it is bolted up here here and in here on the stud so now we're going to install the inner window supports and they just kind of hook on here with a cloth side going down the glass and they bolt up here and here next we're going to be installing these stops and they set the height that your window stops at and they just go in here and over here Next, I'm going to install the inner door handle, and once I get it installed, I'll do a clip of the linkage routing. So when you install this, you're going to first focus on putting the um, long bar inside the pocket of the door before bolting the handle up, and you're going to attach this linkage to the brown clip that's on the back side of the latch. Next, you're going to bolt down your handle. Now you're going to install kind of the mid-size bar that you saw in the earlier clip, and it just pushes the little clip on it pushes into the door on this end and goes into the white clip on this end we had to add a zip tie to ours because it was broken lastly we attach this bar here um, with this tab it just kind of lines up on this plastic peg that sticks out and then you just use one screw so now we're going to run the wiring harness Now that you've run the harness, you can connect the door lock wires here. Um, it also secures from the back side with a blue clip. Next, you're going to install the speaker, which is pretty straightforward. It's just one clip and then it screws onto the door in three spots. If you have an aftermarket speaker like me, you'll most likely have an adapter plate that you have to put on as well. Next, we're installing this door handle bracket with two screws. Next, you're going to take this piece of your wiring harness that goes to the light on your door and you're gonna take the clip on it and it just goes underneath that bracket you just installed. Um, but mine is broken, so I'm gonna be adding a zip tie. So the next step before putting your door card on is to adjust the glass so it's sealing properly. When your door is closed, it should seal nicely all the way around. And this trim piece particularly, um, you have to double check that it is sealing as well. So I made a bit of an error and had to backtrack a bit. Um, I forgot that you have to install the vapor barrier before the handle and the little bracket here. So I just removed those, disconnected it here. You don't have to take the bars off. Um, applied butyl rubber around the outside of the door and put the vapor barrier on. To finish it off, we're going to install the door card, tweeter cover, um, and the handle trim piece, as well as the little cup. So there you have it. That is the door fully assembled. Hopefully this video helped you a little bit in getting your door fully assembled. Thank you for watching. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe.